Yeah. He's a nice guy. He'll probably. I'll tell him, look, we'll take care of all your trash out here or something to swap out. That's me on the seatbelt, I guess. Me too. This is the dump hopper that goes it. with the you get belt all these feeder. People here and somebody gets There's a two yeah, dump hopper no, no, system. That, this is the primary apron feeder feeding the double roll crusher. Cat D9 tracks that were recently redone. And this was the dump hopper up above it, which is also available. Yeah, this is the uh, double roll crusher. There's the nameplate. Zoom in on it. that and this is the fam double roll dimensions to follow I forgot what they are and multiple piece frame and in absolutely beautiful condition we'll get another shot from the bottom level or is this a piece in here and here is the really only large conveyor in the plant. Salvage all the main lights and all. This is for Bert and Marty. There's an overhead crane that covers the whole mill building. That is 15 ton capacity. And it looks, looks pretty good shape. And I showed you the rigging equipment, which is stored over there behind the ductwork. Ball mill. Sag mill. One of two screw classifiers. Krebs cyclones and the pods of Krebs cyclones up above. And we'll go down and show you some of the sampling of the pumps which are also pretty nice condition. So the Krebs hydrocyclone pods primarily D12s and D10s with automated uh, actuating valves and vortex finders and uh, some spare parts for them. Typical units in excellent condition. This is the Erie's magnetic separators, drum type, wet obviously, and it's complete with all the electrics, controls, feed piping, distribution system. This is the high gloss separator, wet heavy separator by Sala and stainless steel cassettes inside and you're probably going to be scrapping that. And the flotation circuit. The door Oliver design. Uh, the tanks uh, are lined with both urethane and black rubber. Agitators, valves, controls, electricals all go with them. And they're about as good as I've seen in the way of condition for float cells. There's very little wear visible on them.
This is the Philippe horizontal vacuum belt filter. This is the Nash vacuum pump, which goes with the belt filter. This is the agglomerator pin mixer that received the material, fine material, from the fluid bed dryer and uh, took the fines and made them into granules for uh, dust removal. These are the uh, centrifugal pumps, for the most part Worthington's, on the uh, mill floor, bottom floor, and all look to be in great shape. There are spare parts for them. Jay Schwal, Dismantler to the Stars. Hans Geyer, Milwaukee Turkey. More of the centrifugal pumps on the ground floor. That is the larger of the two thickeners, 27 meter diameter door Oliver. Excellent condition. This is the small thickener on site, 15 meter uh, diameter approximately, with a uh, dome cover for uh, heating. These are two uh, tanks associated with the thickeners, one each for the small and large thickener. Two silo bins outside the building. Liquid storage tank.